You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and these are MCM pens. These are from Matthew Martin uh, in South Carolina, who has been making some very cool pens for, I don't know, the last few years anyway. You'll notice on my channel and down in the description, I'll put a, a link to the video I did of the OG1, which was his first fountain pen, which is uh, made in all kinds of different materials and designs. We've got fins, and we've got hammered effect, and we've got uh, flame blowing and zirconium and so all kinds of crazy metals and things going on and those pens are small and a little bit on the expensive side but they take a lot of work and they're made out of some fairly exotic stuff and so over the last year or so Matthew was talking to people at pen shows and online who were using his OG ones and they were like you know uh, there I have a wish list and I wish that the pens were a little bit less expensive and that they were a little bit bigger and that we had some like sizes to choose from and those kinds of things. And so Matthew said, all right, so how can I do this? And so he did some things. He made some alterations, and he decided to make a range of new fountain pens. These are in the OG family is what you'll find them if you go to Matthew Martin Makes. Thank you for sending these out for review, Matthew. Uh, I'm excited to be able to tell people about them. So let's kind of move from smallest to largest, uh, from the slim to the chonk. Okay, so this is the OG Slim. This is made in zirconium with titanium ends. You'll notice that all of these have the same construction, and that's one way that Matthew's been able to bring the cost down, is that it takes less time to make the same design in different sizes and that sort of thing. Uh, and you'll notice they have titanium ends. These are separate pieces. You've got a, a zirconium body here. Zirconium is a very interesting metal, and I like the way it looks. I think with these, uh, bookended by these titanium uh, ends, this is a beautiful and classy pen. You also notice that none of these have clips. The OG family doesn't do clips, which also brings the manufacturing time down and the difficulty down in making them. So, uh, in the cap, no cap liner or anything, but the section and the cap are uh, engineered very tightly, and so there's really not much room for air inside this cap, and so your nib isn't going to dry out. You can see it doesn't, uh, there's not very much clearance there. It is pretty darn exact, and uh, it doesn't take very many turns. One, about two turns, turn and a half give or take, to uh, remove the cap, which is very reasonable, I think. And also, I haven't had any problems with these uh, these lids coming uh, coming unscrewed. They seem to uh, they seem to stay screwed very well, so that's cool. Because you know, sometimes I worry about having a pen like that when it has very few threads unscrewing itself in my pocket. Hasn't been the case. All right. So for the rest of this pen, you'll also notice we have a spiralized. Uh, uh, section here, which has this nice spiral running through it. That's a titanium section. In fact, all of these will have a section that looks the same, although they will all be different sizes. He's just doing the spiral on here. You know that Matthew Martin can do a lot of crazy stuff with sections, uh, but this one is uh, going to be spiraled because it is simply very effective and very good looking, and it kind of goes with all of these pens, I think. Uh, this pen, when you, when you are writing with it, is, uh, let's see, uh, 4.75 inches long, which I think is a perfectly good length. It is surprisingly usable. I was uh, I was frankly a little surprised. I thought this was going to be too small, as you saw probably in my unboxing video. Uh, but it's just not. It works perfectly well. This 10 millimeter section is quite nice. It's a very comfortable width for me. And uh, this is really, this is actually kind of long enough. I thought it was going to be too short, but... It works really well with this number six Yovo nib. You'll notice that this nib is a little bit fancy. It's got cutouts and you can see it's got seams and stuff. This is the Kirk Spear Secretary of Deflex nib, uh, which is a nib with added flex. As you can see, it is quite squishy. Uh, and uh, I'll do a little writing sample with this later on and uh, we'll talk a little bit about this. Right. But uh, And you can add this nib to his pens. I don't know how many of these he has, but he has some. And it does add $140 to the price. So these are not cheap nibs. All right. So let's put this, oh, let's take it apart. Show you the inside. Standard uh, converters, the Schmidt converter also can use uh, standard international cartridges and such like that. It is a metal barrel with metal threads on metal threads, and so you're not going to want to eyedropper this uh, because uh, you never know what can happen with metals and inks. It's just not a good thing to leave them in contact for very long, uh, and so I wouldn't eyedropper this. Uh, but, uh, you know, whatever. Cartridge and converter, perfectly fine with me. All right, so that's the slim. This is the little one. 
Now, moving up a step, we have the OG Thick. And this is the one that makes me go, oh my, because it's a pretty heavy pen, especially for its size, at uh, 60 grams. This is uh, probably the heaviest pen I have around uh, next to the Chonk. Actually, the Chonk is very slightly sl uh, less weighty. And so I said, oh man, how am I going to use a 60 gram pen? Um, but this one is solid copper with titanium ends. And I think it's, again, very nice looking uh, pen. You can see the copper has started to patina a bit from my use. And the section here is uh, the same kind of spiraled titanium situation that we had before. This is a regular Yovo nib in a medium. And uh, this is actually a very comfortable size at 10.8 millimeters. This is like, this is kind of in my sweet spot for uh, for, for, for section widths. I, I really like that. It's very comfortable. These spirals catch your hand so that you aren't feeling like it's at all slippery. Like, this is a great grip. Very, very good. Now, uh, a lot of people are going to say, well, that's just too heavy. No way can I use that. It's going to feel heavy in your pocket. You are not going to forget that this is in your pocket. However, when you get it in your hand, it's actually it's actually not that heavy because the weight all goes down onto the paper and you don't feel like you're having to muscle this thing around. It's got good balance. Uh, it seems like uh, the weight is distributed in such a way that it's actually quite comfortable to write with. And I haven't had any problems with this being uncomfortable. I haven't used some metal pens in the past that were quite heavy and just sort of, I felt like they were, they were, I had to muscle them and it was just, I was constantly aware that I had this really heavy pin in my hand. But this one, for some reason, the balance, the size of the grip section, all this stuff comes together to put that nib on the page and put the weight into the page and not into my hand or I'm having to like fight this thing around the paper. So well done, Matthew. I was pretty impressed by that. All right, let's move up again to the OG Fat. This is a solid titanium pen. Uh, I should say it is all titanium. Uh, the top and the bottom are actually different parts. They are separate from the pen body itself. I'm not sure if you can even see the seam. It is right about, it's right about here. I have to look very closely to see it, and actually I only saw it today because I was curious if this was all one piece or if it was uh, four pieces uh, like, the, like the other ones. And uh, the answer is it's four pieces like the other ones. So this one, all titanium, looking very slick and cool, uh, I think. I really like the, the effect on the end of the pen here. That's, that's just really dope. All right, opening this up. You can see we have uh, number six in the, uh, uh, Yovo nib in here, and I've been waving this around a little bit too much. I've actually managed to like sling a little bit of ink, uh, sling a little bit of ink out of there, but whatever, that's going to happen when you're waving pens around as a reviewer. Uh, and this is, I think, my favorite of the four in terms of comfort. I, uh, I really love the size of this section. At 11.7 millimeters, I thought it was going to be too fat for me to use, but something about the length of this pen combined with the width of that section just makes it very comfortable. This is a really good feeling pen, and I dig it. The other thing I really like, and let's see if I can pick this, uh, this sound up on the mic. I don't know if I did or not, but one thing about this is that the section and the cap here are in such tight tolerance, there's actually a little bit of like an air cushion feeling. Like it's, you can feel it's like kind of, kind of suspended. It's very cool. It's a very slight like vacuum, but I think the spiral keeps it from actually pulling a vacuum and sucking ink out of the nib or anything like that. It just, it feels very good. That is a great tolerance. Well done, Matthew. Uh, and then lastly, in terms of sizes, this one, which I'm sure has caught everyone's eyes and you're like, just get to this one, Mike. This is the OG Chonk. Uh, which is solid titanium, again, just like the previous one. But this one is flame blued. And look at these flames. Or I guess I should say, look at the effect of the flames on this pen. That is super cool. It's just a gorgeous pen. Uh, and then you have these uh, these clean titanium uh, finials. And so you have this, uh, this wild blue and purple and orange and silver uh, pattern bookended by these silver ends. Uh, it's a good effect. This looks good. And this is a big pen. So this one, when you take the caps off, is straight up an inch longer than the OG Slim. I mean, putting these two next to each other. Like these. One of these is a monster, and that's the Chonk. Uh, I like the OG Chonk, and in fact, I think this is the one that I've used the most out of these four, uh, because, uh, well, one is I really like the ink in this one. Uh, this is Kala Spectralite I have in here, and man, do I love using that. But also, 
just for the, being a massive pen and being about 60 grams, this is um, 59.7 grams, whereas this one is 60.8. It's about one gram difference between this massive titanium one and this uh, this uh, sort of beefy copper one. But it's uh, it's just super comfortable to use. I really like the feel of this thing, and uh, I, I don't get tired of using it. I really like this. All right, on the inside, go ahead and open this up. I haven't been opening up the rest of them, but same situation. You can see it's a very, it's a much thicker uh, barrel because there's not really any room here. Uh, this is pretty tight, pretty, pretty tight. All right, let's do a little comparison for sizes against a few other pens and uh, do a little bit of a writing sample. Okay, so here I've just like taken a few pens that people probably have some idea of uh, the size of. I'll throw one of these in here too. Why not? I'll throw a little diplomat arrow in there. And uh, I don't know, a uh, Conan Minimalistica, because why not? I have them in front of me. Uh, so here we have the OG Slim, uh, the OG Thick, Fat, and Chunk. And then we have the Twisby uh, Eco T. We have a Lamy Safari. We have a Pilot uh, Custom 823, the Diplomat Arrow, and uh, my Conan Minimalistica there. And you can see that uh, these are like a pretty reasonably sized pen. Like this one barely fits in my pen tray. It is top to bottom. It is a big old pen. Uh, but when you take the caps off and you're getting ready to use these things, um, as we'll do here. So as you see here, the uh, the thick is a very like normal sized pen compared to all the rest of these. It's pretty much right in line with all of these, which it turns out, and I actually didn't plan this. These are all pretty much exactly the same length. <laughs> Which I was surprised by, uh, but once you get up to the uh, the the fat and the chunk, you get into a, another size of pen. Like these are very large pens, uh, and so if you have big old meat fists like me, these are going to be good sizes for you. If you want something a little bit on the smaller side, these are definitely going to be in your wheelhouse. And uh, if you're scared of weight, don't worry about it too much. I I'm not. Um, I was shocked by how comfortable these these two are, even though they are heavyweight pens. So there you have it. Uh, there's uh, there's your comparison. Okay, so let's start our uh, writing samples out here with this one. This is the OG Slim uh, with this uh, Kirk Spear Secretary of Deflex uh, nib here. This is the M C M O G Slim, and uh, this ink is Diamine. Uh, Versapon, which is uh, pine green. And this is a very nice ink so far. Uh, I've only had it really in these pens. I just kind of said, oh, I'm going to try this out. But you get a lot of nice sheen with this ink. This is a very wet nib, this uh, Secretary of Deflex. And you can see it is, uh, it is quite flexy. I have to really concentrate when using this nib or else uh, my writing just looks kind of bad. So you can see with this with this like this O, which it gets uh, pretty faint, and then the G gets pretty thick, and, uh, and, and so on and so forth. And that, I think, is because that's what these nibs are supposed to do. You do get a fair amount of, uh, of flex out of this, nice line variation if you're careful, or if you have some idea what you're doing. Uh, for me, I'm not a flex writer, and so this nib isn't really for me, but that's not, it's not really a reflection on the nib. So uh, let's move on to the next pen. And that's this one, the OG Thick. So uh, this is the MCM. And I want to say this has a medium nib. Yeah, this is a number six. Yovo. With that same uh, diamond Versapine or Versapin. I, I had Google say it for me. Yeah, there it is. Versapon, it's that same pine green. Uh, and of course, this is a regular nib, and so you don't get any of the, the line variation. Uh, but on the other hand, uh, I don't know when that's ever going to dry. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, and as I said before, this is just a very comfortable pen to write with, despite its weight and, uh, and size there. Uh, thirdly, of course, we have the OG Fat. This is the MCM. And you can tell this is a different uh, different ink. This is a number six, Yovo, uh, Broad. And this ink is uh, Papier Plume, Green. There we go. 
And like I said before, I think this is probably my favorite uh, of the four pens in terms of uh, things I want to write with. But this is the one that I have written with the most. This is the MCM Chonk with a number six Yovo. Uh, uh, was this a 1.1 nib at stub? And this is uh, Kala Spectralite. which uh, I have really been enjoying. And uh, this pen is not a problem to write with, despite its weight and size. It is very comfortable in the hand. And uh, that uh, just regular old 1.1 Yovo stub does a nice job of, uh, of giving me a bit of, bit of distinction in the writing, despite not having any of the flexibility of this, uh, this uh, secretary of Deflex. So slim all the way up to chunk very nice set of metal pens lower price point lower complexity higher weight and uh you know fewer options in terms of what metals and designs and things but if you'd like to get your hands on an mcm pen i think these are a perfectly cromulent way of doing so and a very comfortable pen to use in general uh from the slim all the way up to the chunk uh, despite sizes and weights and all that sort of thing. There's something here, I think, for everyone. But uh, don't be scared off by that heavy weight. It's actually really comfortable. All right, that's it. Thank you very much, Matthew, for sending these out for me to check out and show to everyone. You can find them at Matthew Martin Makes. And uh, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.